In this video, I am going to show you how to use CSV files as an input to do analysis in Guppy. So first thing I'll show you is how to create CSV file before importing CSV files for analysis in Guppy. There are few things which user user needs to follow for using CSV file in Guppy. So let me show you how to make CSV files for importing them or for using them in the analysis in Guppy. So I have created a folder in which I have kept all the CSV files which I need for the analysis. So each CSV file has data for each channel and each event that that were recorded in the recording session so dv1a dv2a dv3b dv4b these four are signal and control channels so dv1a and dv2a are control and signal recorded in one side of the brain and dv3b and dv4b are control and signal channels recorded in another side of the brain so when i open these files i'll show you how they are structured So, so these are the two files which got opened. One file dv3b shows control channel data and dv4b shows signal channel data. So control and signal channel files should have three columns in it. First one should be timestamps, second one should be data and third one sampling rate make sure please make sure to use the column names like this only timestamps data and sampling rate otherwise guppy will throw an error also make sure to name these columns in lower cases third thing the sampling rate column should only have one value in the first row all other rows should be blank there should not be any values in all other columns. Sampling rate should be in data points per second. So control and signal channels all whatever the number of control and signal channels we are using make sure all the files has this same structure. Now I am gonna show you these four files are the TTL files. So one each file represent different kind of be behavior events. So I'm going to open any one of them and show you how the structure of the behavior event file should be. So this file just has one column which shows the TTLs, the timestamp at which that behavior happened and it should be just one column with a column named timestamp also make sure to name the column as timestamps and all in lower cases so now i'll select this same folder in the guppy and show you how to run the analysis using the csv files so i'll navigate to the folder which i want to select i'll move it to the right i'll keep all other parameters as default or if you can even change it if you want but right now i'm keeping it as default i'll save it to a file and then move to the next step that is open store names GUI. when you open store names GUI you will notice that the files that you have in this folder the file the name of those file names 
will appear as store names over here. So I'll select all those, move this side and do the same process which I do to save the store names file. And I'll check, cross check that everything I saved is correct. I'll save it to a new file and save the store's name file. I'll close this window and run the third step, which is read row data. So now in this step, if you see, it will, the guppy tool will realize that we are not using TDT files. And that's why it will try to read the CSV file and it will read all the file, read all the raw data and save it to an output folder. Now, these are the things that you need to make sure while using CSV file as an input. All other steps in the process remains the same which I have already explained in other videos. So make sure to follow these things while using CSV files as an input. So that's all. Thank you.